Hi, we're two Hollis Brookline High School seniors here to explain to you a typical day at the high school. Through this video, we're hoping to give a better understanding of what HB students experience every day. School begins at 7.15 with students who take the bus or park in the lower parking lot entering through the front lobby. Students who drive to school and park in the back lot or are dropped off in carpool enter in the back lobby. Students commonly hang out in the halls or lobbies before period one begins. Right now, we are looking at students entering in the front lobby. This is a classroom on the third floor being utilized as a science class. Today, Ms. Orzek's physical science class is conducting a lab on object displacement. During passing times between classes, students have five minutes to get to their locker, bathroom, and next period class. Certain areas and floors of the school are busier than others. We are currently looking at the second floor hallway near the cafeteria. This is now fourth period, also our lunch period, where students can sign into the library to do work, use computers, print papers, or just relax. Seniors who have an options or free period can come here to utilize the library as well. The library is also open to all students during CAV block, a free 45 minute period on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays where students can catch up on work, get help from teachers, or participate in extracurricular activities. Lunch at HB is broken into three 24 minute sections. On most days, first lunch begins at 10.30 and the last lunch ends at 11.56. Many teachers find having classes with the second lunch period difficult since their teaching is interrupted. First lunch is usually the busiest, causing large lines that can take students up to 10 minutes to get their hot lunch. Aside from the main calf, a multi-purpose classroom is opened up for students to eat in which is also used for teaching at other times of the day. While seniors are allowed to eat in the back lobby of the school, other students often find different places to eat to avoid the busy cafeteria. During lunch, one can find students in the front and back lobbies, theater hallway, and the band room. Teachers are also able to eat lunch on the second floor, teacher workroom. To prepare for classes and the day, teachers have some spaces they can use as resources and for planning. The third floor teacher workspace was originally used for storing chairs for the band room, but now has a copier and supplies. Few teachers have their own rooms or offices for planning for the day. Many teachers are required to use rolling carts to transport teaching materials from class to class. Some closets and storage spaces have been converted to offices to support faculty members. For technology-based classes, tech labs are available for students to use computers and specialized software. However, tech labs are not always available and teachers must sign out laptop carts with small, outdated computers for their classes to use. This is Mr. Huckins' Period 5 AP U.S. Government and Politics class, which is over 20 students and is one of three other AP government classes. AP and Honors classes are a large part of the academic life at HB. On Fridays, we also have Professional Learning Communities, or PLCs, where teachers gather to discuss lesson plans and students can either work in the library or cafeteria until period one starts at 8.05. During PLCs, the library is also usually very busy and it is hard to find a computer and workspace. The cafeteria is also used for study halls throughout the day. The school day ends at 2.24 and is followed by traffic congestion due to buses and student vehicles all leaving at the same time. After school, a variety of clubs, sports, and other extracurricular activities meet. Often sports teams will have to travel to other neighboring towns or off campus to practice. We thank you for taking the time to learn more about the HB school system and everyday life at the Hollis Brookline High School. Creating a strong relationship between our high school and community is important to us and we appreciate your commitment to taking an active role in our education.